when you say you're trapping for people, what they paid you to get them, or what was the what was the monetary workout for that? Well, some of them paid fuel money, and others didn't. They uh, said, "Well, if you're making money off the land," and I was always getting a reasonable price for my rabbits because most, a lot of them, I skinned them and sold them around the butchers. One time, selling heaps to uh, coals and. Uh, then all the butchers would take, you know, 50, 60 pair. What, that, how much what, were you getting for a pair of rabbits? Oh, at the start there, about uh, $3 a pair. They would, you know, uh, uh, 25, uh, 25 cents a rabbit that was. Okay. Yeah, those days. And then we worked up till the last few I sold it, oh, 13, 14 year ago. Well, I, I got... Uh, six dollars a pair for them okay so there was a big difference in the price and of course the skins used to be uh, around about a dollar a kilo and they went up too and everything you know as everything rose the prices went up as well okay so you actually get two prices don't you You get the actual the rabbit meat and you get yes. the skin that's correct yes, right, okay. yeah. so so you you had to uh, skin them yourself yes skin them all and clean them myself yeah and you were showing me a photo earlier we'll, and we'll put that up on later on so we can have a look at that but okay. you've actually got to um you've got to peg them out haven't you when you've skinned oh, them no not the the rabbits uh what you call it? I've got the wires over there, you skin them, yeah. then you put the wire up through the skin and it pegs it out nice and neat and the buckskins are always a lot more money than the does because the does sometimes had the, the milk and uh, it always had a lot of black patches through the does in the skin. Uh, and uh, the the bucks we see they are nice and all sort of a goldy crisp and solid as a, you can hardly bend them. No, right. no right. real yeah. quality in them. Okay, so that's probably why people didn't shoot them because they they damage the skin. Is that right? Better to trap them. Oh well, yeah, that's right. And I used to shoot hundreds too because I was a good shot. Shoot them through the head when we're spotlighting. We got 115 pair one night spotlight. 115 pair yep. spotlighting. Yeah. What, you and a mate? You and me, uh, son, yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. He got three white ones that night. White uh, ones? Yeah, three white ones. They'd mm. run wild. I don't know, something must have come from somewhere. And I got those. So, uh, they, they just got included in the count. Of, well, yeah. They're a rabbit, so they're in. Oh, they're still a rabbit, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> that's right. Took his skin off, and he's the same, same as any other. That's right. Yeah. Okay, okay now, now, you're going to explain to us, I mean, once you've caught the rabbit, well, that's half the job, isn't it? Then you've got to, what do you, what do you call it, peg them out, have you? Is that what, yeah, is that what well, you call it? The first thing you've got to do is to, to uh, gut the rabbit so he won't go smelly, and within 20 minutes you've got to... Gut them, you know, as you get, say, 30 rabbits, you stop and gut them. So then you go on, pick up the rest, and then keep doing that all the way through. Uh, that way you've got beautiful, fresh rabbits. And I always had uh, ice things when I was younger, the big old ice chest. And uh, I'd keep the rabbits cool, fetch them into town and sell them. And they were never frozen because uh, they didn't want them frozen, they just wanted to sell them fresh and that way I worked out how to get through with them. Okay, so a little bit of trial and error yeah. and you worked out uh, a pattern of how to deal with them. That's but, correct. Okay, yeah. so we've gutted them and all that, we've got the nice yeah. fresh rabbit meat, but yeah. what about the skins, what are we going to do with them? Well, then I'd skin, when I skinned them, lots of times I'd have an old sugar bag or, or a bucket and I'd drop them straight into it so they wouldn't dry with the wind and that. And uh, then at the finish of all the rabbits, well, I'd peg the skins out on these rabbit wires. Like It's just a bow of wire, and you slam the wire straight up through the skin, and then you hold them, tie their legs, the uh, bows of their legs, onto... Uh, around the wire so that they won't slip off. So you're basically you're just slipping them on like an old sock. Yeah, that's exactly right. And then you tie these bows where you're skinning up their feet, uh, on the back feet of course, and uh, then when you do that, you tie it, then you can put them in a big pile or whatever until you finish, and then you take them and all hang them up or what you call, put them into the ground so the sun will 
grow them a bit and uh, there's all sorts of ways that people use to skin them and that but uh, I always skin them so I keep the skin. Mm. Uh, now, look, I reckon this sounds like a bit of hard work. Was it hard work, Noel? Oh yes, you had to keep into it, daylight till dark and uh, if you want spotlight and you're after night chasing rabbits again. Yes, yeah. No. So, so was there a quit in it, Noel? Oh, well, them days there was, yes, yeah. And the only, only cheap they were, I was uh, back in the pounds and shillings, and uh, I was getting about two and six a pair for them. So uh, we used to make the money out of the rabbit skins and uh, the carcass himself when you cleaned him and sold him. So you had to make every end meet. Mm. And, and you were telling me uh, yeah. a few stories about the foxes, and one of the stories, and I hope you don't mind me mentioning this, yeah. is that some t the fox, they don't call them cunning as a fox for nothing, do they? No, that's because right. you were saying that if they got caught in the, in the rabbit trap, yeah, yeah. they would actually chew their own leg off yeah, to get yeah, out. Yeah. Is that right? Frosty morns, yeah. Frosty morn was a bad one because they'd, they'd uh, get under the jaw when the, it's been cold and that, their uh, foot would be pretty numb. And they'd get through underneath the bow, underneath the jaws, and they'd chew their own foot off because it was numb, you see. And uh, yeah, quite often I come along and one up and off, and of course, them, back in them days, I was a good shot with a 22, and I'd shoot far, far at him, bang, then he'd go. And uh, well, many of the farmers out around Lake Mundy, Strathdowney, they couldn't believe a fox running away. And I, up and bang, down he comes. Yeah, so, you must have been a pretty reasonable shot, now. Oh, yes, yeah. Well, I headshot hundreds and hundreds of rabbits. We used to spotlight and we'd always shoot them through the head. Not a mark on their bodies. The farmers would have actually liked the fact that you'd be cleaning up the foxes well, for them, wouldn't they? that's you? right, yeah. They still try to ring me up to come and I said, no traps anymore. What, to know. this day? Hey? To yeah, this day, they're yeah. still after you? Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. Because, well, there you have it. No, yeah. thanks for letting us into your backyard. And look, if you have a, an interesting story or, or something that you used to do or something you do even to this day. How about contacting Bush Vision on 8723 550 and who knows we might come out and film you for in our backyard. Noel Davis, yep. absolute pleasure. Yeah, no worries. That's very good. Yeah.